Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to load documents of record using ESDLs. So first we will query one employee in Fusion instance to check whether that particular employee has any document, document of record is uploaded or not. So we will query one of the employee. And if not, then we will load the document of record for that particular employee. So in the document of record, we will load passport image and the details of the passport we will load for that particular employee. So here if you see, here there is no document of record for this particular employee. So we will load the passport detail as a document of record, including the image of that passport for this particular employee. So this is the sample template for loading the document of record. So these are the some required fields. So we'll load using these required fields. So first is the metadata. So our metadata is the merge. Then our object number, which is document of record. Then source keys we are entering source keys as source system owner and source system id then document of record id which is the null then we will enter the person number for which we are loading the document of our passport details so entering the person number over there and then we will enter the details as document type which is passport so we are loading the passport as a document type as we are loading the passport details in country if required then document code so document code we will use as source system id the name of that particular document so we'll name that particular document. So we'll enter as passport. Then we enter the document number, which is the passport number. So here entering some dummy value for that passport number. Then we'll enter the required details like from which date or from to which date we want to enter these details. So we're in we are not entering here dates then you can mention the issuing authority if you have those details you can mention the issue, issuing authority then issue date then if any comments you can mention then in mention the legislation as we are entering the details for US legislation so we are mentioning US as a legislation and in, if any comments you have you can mention over there so in this way our first metadata is completed which is the document of record so now next one is the so here we are not entering any details if you have the details you can mention over there so in this way we have completed the first metadata which is the document of record then we will prepare the HDLs for document attachment which we are sharing as image for that passport so we are sharing or uploading the dummy image here to just check we are not uploading the actual image I am showing just dummy image you can while you are loading you can use the actual images so first is the metadata is merge then name of that object which is the document of a document attachment then enter the source keys as source system id and the source system owner are the components of that source keys mentioned over there <coughs> Then enter the person number for which we are entering the data. 
then mention the document type which is the passport then for which country you are loading you can mention over there then mention the document code from above metal data line then mention the data type code <coughs> so data type code we are mentioning the same name of that particular image for which we are passing so name of that particular image is passport.png same title also we can providing the same then we'll use the file name as file and the file in the file we are giving the name of that particular file as passport.png so if you see here we have we are copying one dummy image and naming it as passport.png as per our ESDLs. So we'll change that particular name to the passport.png and we are uploading this image as a passport image. So we have to create one folder named as blob files and copy that particular images, whatever the images you are going to load, copy those images into this blob file folder only images not the dat file so once you have copied those image save that particular hdl which we have prepared and make that particular both the folder and the dat file should be the chief give the appropriate name and upload that data in fusion system using import and load functionality so we'll import that particular zip file document soft record dot zip file so we'll submit and we'll check the status in import and data load import and load the data so here you can see our document of record dot zip file is getting imported so it is an import status. So if you see in total lines, we are having the two lines in that HDL file. So it is showing as two lines in total lines. So we are refreshing to check the actual status of the our import load for this particular file. So here you can see our import is successfully done. So now load, loading is in progress. So we'll refresh it once again to check the status. So it is still loading. So if you see after refresh, it is successfully loaded into the system. So it is showing load success percentage is 100% so it means it has been successfully loaded into the system. So now we will verify once. We will open that particular employee using person management which is xx test 2. Using person management we will open that particular employee and open and check if that particular employee as passport details or not so open that document of record so here you can see the details has been successfully uploaded into the system passport details and even image is also uploaded passport.png so likewise you can load the documents of record using ESDLs thank you